Hi everyone, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. Come along with me as we take a tour of downtown Ashbury. And I'm going to ask you the question, black and white or color, which one moves you the most? These flowers are beautiful in color, but if you were to view them in black and white, would your imagination tell you they're even more beautiful? Have you ever asked yourself this question? Is it better to see the white clouds in color? Imagine how white they are in black and white. What about the sky? Have you ever wondered how blue the sky is with your imagination if you couldn't see it in color? Or what about the green trees? How green are the trees to your imagination if you could not see them in color? It is a laid back Sunday afternoon in downtown Ashbury. But if you view it in black and white, is it even more laid back? These individuals are out cruising on a Sunday afternoon. Is the cruise even more beautiful when you're cruising in black and white? This small fountain, does the water still look the same? Does it still make the same noise when you view it in black and white? This fountain is in Bicentennial Park in Ashbury. But do you wonder, would the water be just as cool? Is the sound the same when you view it in black and white? I wonder. This is a beautiful dog. And if you look at him in black and white, won't it be just as beautiful? This is a famous mural in downtown Ashbury. And the urban legend goes, if you look at it in black and white and use your imagination, you can hear the sound of the engine and the sound of the whistle blowing. Try it. Have you ever asked yourself, is a beautiful red rose still beautiful when you view it in black and white? You know, Sunoco is the fish of fuel in NASCAR, but will the cars run any faster if you buy the fuel in black and white? And what about the quick check? Is it any quicker if you view it in black and white? When you are at the post office and you're dropping off mail, do you ever ask yourself, will it get there faster if I view this in black and white? It is said art is in the eye of the beholder. Well, what do you think? Black and white or color, which one works for you? How do you feel about this artwork on the train? Are your feelings any different when you view it in black and white? This young lady is out jogging. Correction, she's out running. But is it just as difficult when you run and view it in black and white? As strange as it might sound, you can pass this way a hundred times and never notice the colors. Yet unbelievably, you can notice them in black and white. You can see the love the artist had for the style when they painted this in color. But you can feel it and hear the brush strokes when you view it in black and white. How many times have you passed the statue of a man reading the latest edition of the Curia Tribune in the park? But have you asked yourself, is the news any better or is it any worse? if you view it in black and white. This is an internationally famous mural in downtown Ashbury. It tells the story of Ashbury and Randolph County. But is it even more interesting when you view it in black and white? Every old abandoned building has a story to tell. But in black and white, the story takes on a totally different meaning. When you see something like this in antique collectibles, does it stir your memory when gas was this cheap? And also, in black and white, does it add a little extra meaning? And of course, before I go, since we've been walking around, let's stop in at the vending machine and ask ourselves the question, will the quarters go farther? Would it be more refreshing if we see this machine in black and white? In the comments below, let me know which one moves you the most 
uh, uh, tells you the biggest story, black and white or color. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. That motivates me to go out and do more videos. And of course, if you don't like what you see, it's all right to leave a thumbs down because that will also motivate me to go out and do more videos. Because you know I say it all the time, no one knows it all when it comes to photography. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I will see you next time.